Oh, I think we found the driver. Hey everyone, it's Pete from AmateurGolf.com. I'm outside the Ely Callaway Performance Center here in Carlsbad, California, where I'm lucky enough to be getting fitted and also get a preview of the AI Smoke family from Callaway for 2024. Let's go hit some. So we have now AI Smoke with three models. Garrett Pond, tell me about them. Similar to years past, you try and hit the broad segment of the market with three heads. You've got a super high MOI anti-slice driver. Um, that's going to be the Max D model here. On the flip side of that, you've got pretty much the tour player driver. That's the triple diamond driver. Compact head shape, open face angle, fade CG, uh, adjustability for spin more than shot shapes. Probably going to be the workhorse of our product line this year, the AI Smoke Max driver. So you've got a neutral shot shape driver with some adjustability for shot shape. So that one's really about um, having a forgiving low spin driver that has shot shape adjustability. So that's the one that we found worked really well for you by the time we kind of tinkered with loft angle, face angle, and sliding the weight into the spot that got your shot shape kind of starting up the right, falling onto the target line. A lot of people that buy drivers off the rack, and I hope you're not one of those because you, you must get fitted somewhere. Uh, a lot of people don't know what the weight even does. And Garrett's been explaining to me that he was going to give me a little draw bias by putting the weight all the way in the end uh, at the at the heel of the club. It is a little too much for me. I could feel it. I could feel the torque. So we went about halfway. First shot I hit was really good. And now maybe we found a happy median loft wise and with the position of the weight. Yep. So we found the driver. And you kind of know it because you make a swing and you're not compensating in that swing for anything. The club is working with you. We all know that clubs cannot hit the ball for you, but you've got to have a baseline. I've found that. Then we can go with different shaft options, go with other things. But I have an idea that this is the right head for me and probably the right way that I should set the weight. And I'm guessing that uh, maybe 45 and three quarters isn't a bad length either. I'd like a little more distance, so that's okay.